Hello? Yeah, this is the Carpool Brothers. Chef Jason? For one of his shows? Chef Jason stranded in the swamp, boy. Come, fast, fast, organize, spin around. Need something here? Carpool Brothers, boy! Everyone really there here, boy? Chef Jason back at you again. Another adventure is before us. I'm at the Karani Bird Sanctuary. I'm with the Kalpu brothers. We're going to take a tour and see what is taking place outside there right now. We're going to check out the birds, some of the marine life. We might see a mermaid. You're not too sure about that. I promise you that. But nevertheless, we might be cooking something up on the boat, some oysters. We might do some roast fish. The Kalpu brothers are famous for an awesome time. I love the energy, and that's what it matches us right here on We Outside. Let me do this. Ravi, Nav, are you ready for this adventure, right? Always. Are they promised me the adventure? Always, you're always ready. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Which one? Or let's get a gun here. I'll go as the gun, Ravi, go as the skipper. Right? <laughs> let's go. Ravi, this um, area here, so this is actually like the, the awkward part to come out of the bird sanctuary? Yeah, it is. So the channel we use, this is the number nine channel. Yeah. And this will take us to the Blue River, which will carry us out into the Gulf of Paran, into the ocean. The river is about three and a half miles long. From here to, to the ocean? To the ocean. Rob, this is typically just mangroves, right? Is it? It's typically mangrove. It's a mangrove forest. And actually in the Caribbean swamp, we actually have three types of mangrove, Jason. So I hear you talking about shrimp and all these great things. You have, the, is there shrimp in this water shrimp. right now? Yeah, shrimp. There's a lot of different types of shrimp. So we're going to do a little fishing today. The type of bait that we're using today is the same type of bait that is found here. I'm so excited. Shrimp, let's do this. When you have swamp, you think of like mosquitoes, snakes, gators. Yeah. You think of like things that would just probably do you harm. What, well, what's that about? Well, I think it's just a, it's a mind frame, but we do have some of the largest snakes here. We also have anacondas here, greenback <laughs> anacondas. Yeah. The last one I removed was 13 and a half feet. Uh, we saw the one in the zoo. We see that one off there. You say remove? Remove, yeah. Here in Ravi. A rainbow three boa. It's locally known as a cascabel snake. Yeah. And he's sensing that we're close. He's sensing yeah, that we're close. He is. I tell you, watch now. Now, I've been handling this boat like if you Drive Tito, now it's pure wet. So it's been about five years now recording flamingos. Activities are actually doubling, tripling, more of them coming in. And when they start flying around in search of food, they also come to our island, Trinidad and Tobago. Some of the greatest beauties are actually here in Trinidad and Tobago. To see these flamingos up close and personal, it's just something that warms your heart. It's, it's so majestic, I can't explain it. Rob, you'll have to... Eat. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, yeah. The edge of this particular river, it's Blue River, number 9 drain, and it's a straight drop. There isn't any ledge for him to stand up to get a, a, a start. All right, buddy. So he is a juvenile, so we just want to make sure he's good. We'll need to get him back onto mud flats or land itself 
or he wouldn't be able to make it. So we have to put him back with the adults. So it's actually a rescue mission here right now. You guys in for a treat today? So Robbie's trying to get us as close as possible and he is up and awake. I think he's ready to go. We're putting him in and it's just a couple inches of water. He'll be able to swim and reach the rest. Bye bye. We at the Blue River right now, also known as channel number nine. And we're heading out into the ocean right now. Then we're gonna start to catch some fish now, drop some lines, see if your boy Chef Jesus could pull something in. Don't forget if you're watching the video, share the video so the world could see what's taking place because we outside! Professionals, the best in the game. Yeah. You can't be, you can't beat that skillful on the push. And I, and I can't take a scene here. Jump up, jump up, jump up, and start with it. Captain, how far are we from land? Just a few more meters. <laughs> what are we doing here now? So I'm filleting the fish. It's a small salmon. Wow, and that's simple as that, eh? Simple, simple as that. What do you need me to do with this garlic? I need you to crush that and get it into a paste for me. Right. So we're going to focus on that fresh oyster sauce. And we're going to get to have some fresh oysters off the roots. We're going to make a cocktail, an oyster cocktail. So you were just basically cutting up the fish into right. chunks, right? In chunks. Of course, we're going to rinse, rinse that out in some fresh water. Right. And so then we're going to soak this with some lime, some citrus. Now with citrus and lime, obviously, it allows the fish to be Safe for consumption, right? Correct. Black pepper, salt, and a little bit of sweetness inside here. Because I wanted to have a nice sweet sauce. Everyone knows ketchup. Ketchup. Typically enjoyed with ketchup, but because trainees love ketchup so much, he puts it in a yeah. touch of water. A touch of water. Nice. So this is obviously to break down the viscosity of that ketchup. Right. You want to put a bit of tamarind inside here? Just put a little bit of flavor. You guys gonna get sit in there for about 10 minutes that all that seasoning flavor gets into it and then we're gonna get some fresh oysters off the branch all alongside the mangrove root itself have a lot of these oysters attached and i want to show you something look how many oysters they are on one root wow simple like that simple like that because when you told me you was going to get these oysters you're like you're cool and calm but these things just on the roots right behind the oysters like this all right give it a little twist and it'll come right off the root. And, and you just prize them out. We prize them. So it's, they're very, very small and minute, right? And as they get bigger, they start forming that shell. And as they get that shell develop into them, they start attaching themselves onto rocks, to roots and whatnot. And once they attach itself onto the roots, that's where they live. Right. Let's get the next branch. Oysters here in our Karani swamp. So what we're gonna do is, 
Uh, oysters only have this oval shape, but there's this one part that has the hinge. Mm -hmm. Right, there's a little space in there. You want to get the knife right in between there. Once we get it open. Wow. That's mm. oysters there. We detach it from the shell and get it in the Ooh. water. Let me try one of those. There we go. Nice little small coupon. Yeah. Pull it out. Put it inside. It. Beautiful. Yes. We have our nice oyster sauce here. We have a little cup in there so we can pour out some. This is the salmon, the sea trout. Right. Salmon. So good. So good. The sauce has the vitality and that strength inside of it. It's a slight bit of pungency. The shadow belly and the garlic inside there really does accelerate the flavor on your, on your palate. It just sends the endorphins straight to the brain. Fish is actually cooked perfectly even though it did not touch the heat. That acid there from the lime juice cooks it and makes it safe for consumption. Next, what do we have? We have the oysters. It's oysters we just harvested. My oyster shot now. Tell me, it doesn't get better than this. Amazing. I have to safely say that this is the best oysters I've ever had in my life. Ever had? Ever had. I mean, I've had oysters all across the country and even abroad. Mm -hmm. This is what makes it worth it. Together with the salmon that we had and now the oysters. Hats off to Mr. Carlton Senior. Your sauce is amazing. It's too much because it's still over. So what we're doing here, we're gonna put some little slices on all the flavors coming in from our seasoning. You know, in Trinidad, you know what it is called that? A uh, gash. Uh, they say gash the fish for me, boy. That allow the flavors to soak in. I don't know, you don't know. <laughs> I know we wanna get some of the fresh seasoning, so I need you to help out with this one. So let me just put some on top there. Now the brilliant thing about using this right up is basically we have that hacker seasoning inside there which gives you profiles of the Indian spices and even the Asian spices inside there. I think one of the main secrets is just about using the fresh fish. Oh, so no, it's no, just no. like you catch it, we just catch it and having it right here one time on the boat. Nice, I give any honors to rest them on the cold pot. But we know can't just caught all this fish. <laughs> I'm about to fish inside there somewhere. So maybe like about after about six, seven minutes we then turn it on okay. to the other side. Alright. Things smelling real nice boy. You can see it's starting to you get that white colour, which means that obviously it's cooking. You see some sizzling down in the action down there. Mm. That's really good. You get that nice flavor of the garlic and shallow like inside there. Paint with your hand organically like this and down to the bone I know what you're about to what are you saying <laughs> I must say that when you know I chose to come here with you guys I remember vividly back in 2018 when the central area flooded up with the perennial rain for, the, for three days tell us a little bit about that um well Jason boy that was something um I would never want to experience again ever in my life we just got a phone call um, from customers from friends saying now when it's just bad it's that bad by us. Can you come and assist us? So Ravi started to get the uh, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, life jackets, life rings. Like midday into it, Ravi looks at me and says, Nah, this is not a few people on the riverbank. This is a community. See, Ravi actually had to body lift some of them and get them to the boat. Let's go again, let's go again. He never said no. So together we formed our team and yeah, we got everybody out. We just know the Kalku brothers, obviously, for doing all these awesome trips and promoting tourism. The, the nation has expressed their heart of oh, gratitude yeah. and thanks. Yeah. And we all appreciated what you all did during that time in 2018. So yeah, we have some refreshments here. Special Kalpu Chow. <laughs> Kalpu Chow! Look at the presentation, people. Beautiful. Mm. So we got a nice balance. I got a little bit of zing. Home style cheese pepper sauce. Mm. Mm. And of course, an experience like this could only be enjoyed when you come and check out these guys. We're outside today. We are outside with the Kalpu brothers. You can check us on all social media platforms. We are on all social media platforms. It's Kalpu Bird Sanctuary Tour. And you can always call me or Ravi. The numbers are always there. Because you know why? we outside. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Out, Chef Jason.
<laughs> you could see that wrong then, no help. You just shoot. Okay. Alright, got it, got it. <laughs>